I think of focus three ways. There is focus on ourselves, there's focus on the other person, and there's focus on the wider world, on the systems that we operate within. It is human nature to pay most attention to and put most importance on what the most powerful person in a group says or does. Leaders set the emotional state of other people. But once you have your strategy to execute, you can only do it through people. You have to communicate, you have to motivate, you have to listen, you have to inspire. And all of that takes emotional intelligence. If you don't have that, your strategy will go nowhere. Teams have a group emotional intelligence. The collective IQ of a team does not predict how well it will do. What predicts how well a team will do is that the best talent of each person on the team is contributed at full force. That requires harmony. That's your amygdala talking when you have that one thing that you're worried about, that you ruminate about. So the amygdala makes our attention fixate there, which is why it interferes with job performance, because we can't put our attention on what we're supposed to be doing. Cognitive control is what mindfulness strengthens. It's the ability to put your focus where you want it and keep it there. Why are people poor listeners? Because they're preoccupied, they're time pressured, they have lots to do. So someone comes in, starts talking, and, they, and the boss, for example, cuts off that person, takes over the conversation. You never hear what it is that's really on their mind. In a crisis, everyone looks to the leader to see, are we okay? If the leader is freaking out, if the leader is panicking, then people won't function at their best. It turns out the same circuitry that improves concentration and attention manages emotional hijacks. So we get triggered less, and not only are we triggered less, but if we do get upset, we recover more quickly. Achievement orientation really means goal orientation, knowing where you're going and keeping your eye on that goal despite distractions.